What's going on, you guys? Uh, I'm going to take some of that pulled pork from the uh, pork butt this weekend, and I'm going to make me a uh, pulled pork guess of the... Uh, I'm going to make some fresh pico, pico de gallo, and uh, it's going to be all kinds of yum. So uh, let's get started. All right, for the pico de gallo, this is what I'm uh, running with. I got some uh, cilantro that I'll add. I got some tomato, red onion, use white onion if you have it, some lime juice, and a little bit of garlic. I'll mince that up, throw that in there. So let me get this chopped up. I'll add it to the bowl and I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, once I'm done, we'll hit it with some salt to taste. And then will be ready to go. Very simple. I'm going to do this first. Throw it in the fridge. I like to let it get a little cool. And then uh, it'll be ready to eat. Stick around. All right, so I got it uh, chopped up. Got the tomato. I'm going to use half of the uh, red onion. Just um, a little bit of cilantro. Garlic. I'm gonna take these limes and get that squeezed in there real quick. Now I hit it with a little bit of salt, and we'll see what it tastes like. So let me get all of this in here real quick. That's the last line. Let's uh, hit it with a little salt and give this a stir. Mm, smells good. Quick and simple. So, this is what it looks like. Let's give it a taste. That's what it looks like. Yum. Oh, yeah. That's good. Yum. Very simple, very quick. So I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator, let it sit for a bit. Finish my wine. Lao. This might be some hippie shit right here, but I love me some wine. <laughs> Alright, this is going in the fridge. I'm gonna start on the guess of this. So I'll pick back up in just a bit. Alright, so I'm sitting here and I'm thinking. You know, that beagle tastes pretty good, but I feel like I'm missing something. And I was. I completely forgot to add the jalapeno. So, let's do that. I am going to add this. I can't believe I, I, can't believe I forgot this. I am going to add this jalapeno. With the seeds in, I am not going to take them out. I'm just going to chop this up. Remove a little bit of this. But leave the seeds. I want the seeds. Alright. So I'm going to chop these bad boys up. I can't believe I forgot them. Let's go this way. I'm going to mince these up, chop these up, and drop them in there. And then we'll give it another taste. I knew I was missing something. Alright, now I got it in here. Let's stir this bad boy up. If 
you don't want it uh, as spicy, take out the seeds. Although, I don't think one jalapeno is spicy. That's just me. I know other people do, though, like my wife. She will not touch anything spicy. So, all right, let's give this a shot one more time. Get some jalapeno in here. There you go. <laughs> now it's good. I can't believe I forgot that. All right. In the fridge it goes. All right, so let's... I'm just going with store-bought tortillas. I am not doing homemade. Because it's just a simple, quick meal. And I just, I want to warm these up before I start building it a little bit. All right, let's get building. So I have three tortillas here. Three, that'll be the middle one. And I'm just using a <clears throat> Monterey Jack. You use whatever cheese you like, and you put as much as you like. I want it cheesy. It's a guess of the after all, right? It says one layer of cheese. I'm going to take some of that pulled pork from the pork butt I made this weekend. And we'll add that. this this pork butt I, I uh, heated this pulled pork up man it smells good I can't wait to taste it again so that's that <clears throat> Take a little more cheese, put it on top of that. Take the middle tortilla. I did warm up the tortillas like I just showed you before building this. Uh, I like to add the little, I, li I like to get them a little cooked before I start building. I just, you know, I don't, I don't like just going straight to a plain warm tortilla <clears throat> so let's add that take the rest of that pulled pork Spread all that goodness all over the place. And then let's hit it one more time. A little bit of cheese. Put this on here. And let's take it back to the Kamal and get this bad boy going. Get this bad boy back on. You don't want the fire too hot because you don't want to burn the tortilla before the cheese gets a chance to melt. So we're going to let that sit 
just for a minute or so. Um, and then we'll flip it a few times, then be ready to go. Get back in there. Nice and crispy. Hear that? That's the way I like it. All right, this is done. Let's pull this off and cut it up. Now let's cut this up. I can smell that pulled pork. Oh man, oh man. All right, I'm going to get this plated up and then we'll get to taste it. All right, you guys, it is done. Got the pico here, pico de gallo. Got the sour cream and some avocado. Love me some avocado. So, this is, let's see, what the inside looks like. Ugh. Yum. So let's put a little bit of sour cream on there. A little bit of pico de gallo on there. And let's give this bad boy a taste. Mm. Get out of town. Man, oh man. That pulled pork with the Monterey Jack. Perfect combination. Man, oh man, that's good. I'm not just saying it because I made it. That is good. <laughs> Yum. Man, oh man. I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's that good. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to stop this video. Because I'm about to slam on this. So, that's my pulled pork quesadilla. <clears throat> Plenty of pulled pork left over from that pork butt this weekend. I'm home alone. The missus is out. I figure, what the hell. Let's make some quesadilla. So, something easy, simple to do. And it tastes great. So, just an idea of something you can do with your leftover pulled pork. If you, you know, next time you make some. Um... We have tons of that stuff left over. So that's it. I'm going to slam. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, I will talk to you soon. You guys take care.